Hello everyone. Today I want to talk about Hashcore Vault itself. I mean, I, I want to say how I achieved the goal, how to restart pod when I will change some secret value in Hashcore Vault UI or it doesn't even run CLI too. So I mean, just imagine we have some pod which works right now. It is mapped with Hashcore Vault, which I will show with configuration here. Of course, it doesn't matter, but when you will define this secret first time, of course, at the first deployment, it will bring, Vault agent will bring these configurations inside of pod and we'll, we can get it, it's not issue, but if you go to your UI or console to change this secret value, the pod will not be restarted and we must to go by hand to restart pod to get these values uh, from, latest values from Hashcorp Vault secrets. So let me switch to Okay, let little bit I will explain this console output. So here my real microservice, which I am going to see each four seconds, if I'm not wrong, three seconds, each three seconds to see when new pod will bring inside of the namespace and why I'm doing so because I want I want to be sure when mutating will be happened and it's going to bring new pod inside of my namespace and at the same time it is a log output of vault agent. I mean, if I will switch here to see, I'm going to see logs for vault agent container, which like a sidecar injected to my pod, in, uh, in, like as neighbor to my container inside of pod. I mean, this microservice container. So I will see real logs to see what's happening when, uh, when secret value will be changed. So this part as we see, I'm going to see Vault Agent Injector inside of Vault Namespace because I want to see real mutate and put URL calling when uh, secret will be changed. So we will see a new line, of course. It is just output of the pod which I wanted to show. I'm executed here. So I'm switching to configuration and readme, which I did. Then I will switch to simulate all the stuff. This is my role. Why I'm showing this? Of course little bit role role itself increased here with more access but it just worked i just applied it to my namespace to use to be usable from uh, vault agent itself itself what i'm showing let me uh, what i'm saying and let me switch to readme file which i wrote and it will be much more clear so when i started to research the way how can i achieve this one i found from official documentation of vault this annotation with name vault inject command and config is the actual pass where inside of vault will be defined my secret. So in my case, it is defined in my company name slash secret name. And when I started to think how I can execute this command here, I mean, this at least this shell script must be inside of vault agent container. At the same time, what the script will do, which commands I will use inside of script, must be exist inside of Vault Agent. But then I start to think how I will bring this command, even if I will bring how I, I will use this. So I found another annotation, uh, Vault Ashcorp Agent Image, which we can define register pass to use our own Vault Agent Image. If I will go to this Docker file, you will see uh, I used the latest uh, vault image itself, which I'm going to bring in so inside of this latest image, kubectl command, because I will use kubectl command inside of this script, which I'm going to bring this script inside of this vault container to, new image to. Let me switch to container. So it is actually inside of same namespace. In, 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 inside of, in any pod, we have hostname variable, predefined variable, which, which we can get our deployment name by uh, parsing with set this hostname from here. I'm going to get this to variable deployment and I can get deployment status with kubectl rollout status command of my deployment. I'm not going to see in real time, that's why watch false. It's going to get last deployment status. If it is su success, it, it means it's success. It, not, if it means it's a uh, rolling state and we, we, we cannot continue to roll out. If not, of course, we will continue to roll out to our deployment. It is a script itself which will trigger, will be triggered with Vault Agent 
when secret will be changed, of course, with mutate. So let me switch to the part. Yeah, one big point too from official documentation. They said we must use share process namespace for our deployment, which I defined in my deployment too, of course. So it is readme, which I will close. It is role binding, and this role binding needed by service account. I mean, inside of inside of deployment, which you will use which will use annotation of fault must be defined the service account name which mapping here so actually in my service as you see for each of them define namespace and it is a service name service account name which is defined actually in my deployments too yes this uh, role it is increased role uh, i don't need some of these commands which i defined here to use api but it works, that's why I, I didn't change anything here. You can use this template, or of course you can decrease the access rule to by the security reason. So I showed, I think, all of them, script, readme, docker file, and roll binding tools, and I will switch to show in real time how it will be happened. So right now, this, this is my pod, and this is output of um, agent injector itself, and in the downside, output of this pod for container with the name vault agent and if I will switch to change pass inside of this pass some of the K of course I will write anything here do save and we will see output here so official documentation said it can be happened from between five or ten minutes but really in my case it's happened not more than one minute, but we will see. Right now, 4.53 p.m., I will do pause and return back when it will be happened, or even I can wait one minute here, of course. It's not so long time, just to be sure. It's working not more than one minute. So it is actually happened. Can you see new, new pot came because uh, when mutating happened, we can see from log output here inside of vault agent container, inside of vault namespace, it's going to execute command which I define inside vault agent, new image, if I will go to... So it is going to execute this script file which I showed before, and this script file will catch deployment name and do rollout with a, a new pod, of course. So if I will go inside of this uh, pod, of course, it will be existing. If I will do here, cryptstl exec minus it minus n bash. Echo environment. Um, so it is a value which I changed right now. Of course, if I will change it again, it will be triggered. It doesn't matter. I hope it will be useful. Thank you for watching.